Hello everyone, welcome to your last ever video okay, of module 6 and also of the whole social studies chapter. So, as usual, we will end off the module with an essay question and this time will be essay on Van East. Okay, uh, like, bef like the previous topic for module 6, the case study of Van East, there will be no source based question based on this. This is stated by the Cambridge examiners. So, we will go straight into talking about the essay question after the content. So let's take a look closely at as, uh, essay number 6, the question A. Question A will be asking you how reforms in government is important for the rise in Venice between 9th and the 15th century. So this is about the rise of Venice and it focuses on reforms in government. So for L1, of course as usual you should know by now, I will show you the answer for L1 first, how does it go and what do students usually write and which cause them that L1. L1 obviously you are not answering the question and you go and argue about how reforms in government does not play a role in the rise of Venice like regardless of how you evaluate behind and how well you argue, you do not get the answer because there is no focus on question and you are not agreeing with the question. To always answer the yes. Okay, or you talk about other stuff like reforms in government include meeting the challenges of growing city state, maintaining checks and balances. Okay, yes, it's included, but you're not focusing, you're not answering the question first. For L2, L2 you're just merely describing the given factor which is how reforms, uh, which is on the reforms in government. Over here, actually, there's a lot okay, of content if you have studied. Reforms in government actually has thought about how the creation of a great council and council of 40 etc. Then how they maintain checks or checks and balances uh, to prevent corruption and everything. So all these you must learn how to uh, further concise them. This is actually um, con more concise and summarized but if should you lack time for exam you should know how to further summarize them and shorten them. And another way to uh, present with such large quantity of information to use linkers. So you use in addition okay, and you change paragraph. This is just one way to show the examiner. After L2, obviously you'll be looking at L3. L3 of course is evaluating on how reforms in government leads to the rise of Venice. You are linking reforms in government and explain how it leads to the rise in Venice. So it will be L2, you describe the given factor, you describe about reforms in government, everything in front, council of 40, preventing the ch uh, maintaining checks and balances etc. And then, so you evaluate by saying that the creation of great council, okay, an addition of council and 40 and 60 members senate has enabled efficient operations and passing of laws. So this is about good governance and also you use linkers to say that there's a lot going on. Maintaining checks and balances ensured that no one was above the law, not even the doji himself. Okay? Council of 10 became the most important branches in handling confidential and critical matters etc etc. So this is the prevent of corruption and all those. And all these are in your textbook, so I don't think I should be evaluating further on the content. Take a look at part B then. Of course, the topic will still be on the rise of Venice. This will be the case for every single essay. They will ask you to explain two other factors. Okay. And which one of them should you choose? Of course, there's a lot. Okay. But my suggestion is, of course, one political, one economic, so it's better when you do evaluation. Because in the evaluation, you can say that you need a multi-pronged approach. This is a one of the tricks to do to write your L6 and to do your evaluation. Just say that 
uh, one cannot be standalone. You need both. I have gone through review in one of the uh, example essay questions. So obviously you say you choose one economic, one political. You say they work hand in hand, and you cannot just have economic factor only. So that's very easy how it goes. And obviously choose the one with less content. This is very obvious. You don't want to write too much. Okay, so which is the one with less content? Innovative practices, just the double entry bookkeeping, general banking, very short. Whereas these two, there's a lot of subtopics under them. And political, choose leadership. Just give an example of few leaders and link it to all all you have learned in section in chapter two on understanding governance. Okay, good leaders, good foresight, make sound policies, etc. Very straightforward. For uh, let's look at. L1 for section B. So, Rainey's rise is mainly attributed to reforms in government. You're not answering the question because they are asking you to, to identify two other factors. Okay, although there are other factors such as leadership, they say you're not important, etc., you're not answering the question again because you need to always agree first. For L2, you are just merely describing one of the alternative factors so you can either describe the first example I give you is good leadership you talk about the three dojes do, doje Pietro II Arcelo doje Enrico Dandolo about how it helped to um, capture and take over Constantinople and also doje Pietro Zaini which helps to guard against the um, prevent invasion by pirates and lead to expansion of Venice. So it's just explaining good leadership through uh, examples from naming three of their leaders. Alternatively, you are just mainly describing on innovative practices on trade and business. So we talk about general banking and double entry bookkeeping. L3, okay, if you have known by now, L3 of course is evaluating either one of the L2. So it's either one pre in the previous slide, either you can talk about the innovative practices or good leadership. Then you explain explain good leadership on sound policy and far sightedness. So this makes this is how good leader allows Venice to grow or Innovative practices, you explain how those gyro bookkeeping, okay, all the accounting efficiency, convenience and efficiency, which expand trade, facilitate trade much more smoothly. L4, okay, again, is a copy and paste of everything in front because for L4, you need to state one, state and evaluate one factor. So I just copied all the content from earlier, which is on innovative practices. You explain, describe plus explain, and then you briefly describe another factor. And here I have chosen leadership. Okay, leadership play an influential in decision making. So just briefly state and explain. Just elaborate more a bit. Don't just write another factor is leadership. The examiner may not give you the mark. For L5. Again, it's both elements of L3. Talk about describe plus explain leadership, describe plus explain innovative practices, or you can talk about the others like all the trade and things, if you the other factors if you want. But of course, you know that these two fact the other two factors they are very very long, and I'm sure you do not want to write them. L6 L6 is about evaluation weighing the relative importance so over here I say I've chosen good leadership because you can just regurgitate a lot from your chapter 2 on understanding governance okay leadership is extremely important and it's logical to say that developments of these innovative practices can be partly attributed to wise decisions of leaders so we are saying that one of them is under the other so this is the main determinant factor this is what you are saying and even so, many success is not attributed to good leadership alone, it's a combination of various economic and political factors. So I've said previously, you choose one economic and one political, you can say that yes, you need a multi-prog approach. Okay. 
So it's expedient and straightforward, it's um, quite foolproof, but if the examiners may not like it, uh, that's what that's only what I can tell you. But of course they should give you the mark because it's an evaluation, you're making the conclusion and you're explaining in your own words. So now we have ended off with everything and I have just gone through with you the last essay question of the last module. So if there's any help that you would like, just drop me a message, a private message through email or anything and I'll see I can help you with it. And I wish you all the best in this in overcoming this subject and also all your other O-level subjects as well. Thank you so much.